Hi Pisces, welcome to your What They Aren't Telling You reading for January 21st through February 4th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. King of Pentacles. Okay. Could be that you are, um, this is a solitary king, typically. That doesn't have to be, but um, typically this is someone that is quite comfortable with where they're at, the power amassed, the material uh, possessions amassed, and they're, they're just, they're very firmly in the seat of control, and they'd rather sit around and enjoy what's going on, and they're very comfortable this is not someone that's interested in getting up and handling anything time any anything anytime soon because they've spent such a great deal of time um, setting it up to where it can be on autopilot and they can just simply observe and manage from where they're sitting and it's a very comfortable not lofty but just comfortable place to be for someone so this is perhaps they're pensive or thinking about something but they're they're doing it from a secure position um, could be an earth sign Taurus Capricorn or Virgo that you're thinking about Pisces um, this could doesn't have to be an earth sign. It's just somebody in this position, what I described. Okay, so we got strength. That could be Leo. Two of Pentacles. Three of Cups. The Moon. This could be Pisces or uh, Cancer. Chariot. Cancer. Uh, there we are again. I've said it for the past two months. Pisces and Cancer. It seems like you're inextricably linked for some reason here. Uh, Nine of Swords. Seven of Cups. Okay. All right. So we've got it. Things appear strong and stable and um, regular, like this, you know, just very consistent, not predictable, but just trustworthy, consistent, something with integrity. Okay. And with this person, you probably think you, you're trusting their intentions. You feel like everything's on the up and up. You have respect for this person. Um, it is a juggling game. There's probably a lot going on. We've got somebody with a lot of things and a lot of um, holdings or just a very comfortable, secure place, like I said earlier. And so it's probably a juggling act. There's probably a lot going on, a lot to be managed. Um, perhaps somebody is going through something and they're trying to figure out what's best for them. But I, I feel like they've got you in mind, like you're here and then the other stuff is here. And they're just they're actively trying to adjust. It's I don't feel like it's something they don't want to do. I feel like they're they're okay with having to do that. It's just the nature of the beast, so to speak. Your partner might be telling you that they are confused, that they are unsure of the future or where things are headed. Um, that's interesting. Or they don't know... What's this moon about for Pisces? This, this could be you, Pisces. Hmm. So they're unsure of a decision or what they want to do, but what they're not telling you is that they want things to work out. And this could be cancer as well. So what is a Cancerian, I should say? What's this Cancerian about? What's this chariot about? What's, what's this chariot about? Forward movement and victory with you. So Pisces, I think they see you as their person because we're suited here. Okay, we're king and queen of pentacles. So this is somebody that sees you as um, their mate. But why the confusion? Why the decision? What, what, I don't understand. Because I, I feel like we're talking about a, a married couple here. I feel like we're talking about, if not a married couple, a long established um, couple. And if, you ha if you're not married, th this chariot might be part of things working out or moving forward. That forward momentum that chariots often represent. So... They, I think they're telling you that they've got a lot, a few things to deal with. Like they're, they're not sure when they're going to make their decision. They've got a few things to deal with. Again, with um, this, this could be making that decision. This could be the subconscious issues coming to the fore. It could be past issues coming up that they have to tend to and to deal with or, and deal with. So this right here is saying, you know, I don't know what's going on. There's a lot going on. Stuff's coming up that I've got to deal with. Um, and I do plan on dealing with it. This is also saying that the fear could be greater than the thing itself. What's this Nine of Swords about? I've, I've got, it's coming to a head. I've got to deal with this. Um, hmm. 
This is interesting because Pisces, this person appears strong and stable and it's a juggling act for them. So not too, I mean, you know, typically there's a lot going on. It's just par for the course, right? Um, but somebody can still be strong and stable and finding a new normal and, and juggling. Um, however, this is, it's almost like a mysterious decision that they've got. They're, they're really confused. They've got a decision to make. They feel like, I don't see an ending though. I feel like this is judgment, but they, what they're not telling you is that they see you as your person. They want things to work out and they're really having a lot of anxiety. Um, they're, it's like they're worried about you. That is this a breakup? Are we talking about a breakup here? Something's bro broken up? Or, because they have a lot of anxiety about the perfect partner. Maybe this is anxiety about pregnancy, becoming a parent. Could be that. There's a lot of things that have come up from the past. That's what this represents also. Um, because this is a culmination of things starting to encroach and starting to get to the point where something has to be done because this is starting to overtake their waking hours. Like this is all they think about, right? So this is the perfect mate and more. This could be Taurus, but this is the ideal relationship right here. So they are having a lot of anxiety about you, who they see as their ideal relationship. They want it to work out. Are they, are you talking? I mean, is this somebody that's just expressing their concerns about the longevity or success and the stability of the relationship? Maybe they're afraid you're going to go somewhere um, because of all the stuff that's coming up. Or this could be a past partner because um, we got the confusion over the past here, the past coming home to roost. If you're not talking, this is somebody that's really thinking quite heavily about the past with you, um, Pisces, and they thought you were the, the ideal partner, the perfect mate. Um, so if they're, if this is just a weird thing to say. I'm really worried about you. Why? But it looks like this might be somebody from your past. If it's not somebody you're um, currently with, it could be somebody from your past because we've got the past issues coming up. There's a lot of confusion. They're worry, really worried about this ideal relationship, which is what they see you as. And they might be telling you that they're really worried and they're going to put some things to rest and handle a lot of issues where it concerns this relationship. And they're not wrong. They're, they're secure. Their insecurity, their anxiety lies within them wondering if it is worth it to continue in this relationship or I feel like if they can provide the stability yeah because this these two just flew out so I'm not even gonna shuffle anymore provide the stability um that once was there's something about and this is a solo act like they might not even be telling you I just I feel like there's a lot of secrecy I feel like they're not giving you the whole picture that's very odd well maybe that's what this is duh okay so yeah I don't think they're telling you a whole lot they could be just saying, oh, I'm just feeling out of sorts or I'm confused. But I feel like they're thinking about making a decision about you or just maybe they want the perfect relationship, but they see you as it. They want it to work out. They want forward movement with you. So this would suggest that there's something, maybe they're saying, I've got to deal with my mental health issues. Maybe that's what this is, is somebody's got to deal with some mental health issues because it's starting to get in the way of this ideal relationship. Okay, so they, they're telling you that they got to deal, they have anxiety or they're having some issues, concerns, whatever, and they want to deal with it. And, but really what they're not telling you, I think they're wondering if they can continue in this relationship. This is about looking at the pros and cons of continuing an investment for the future, seeing if it's going to be profitable or work out or worth their time and interest. So I think they're worried about this relationship and if they can still continue to provide for it or be what they once were. I think there's something that's starting to catch up to them that is kind of almost crippling them mentally. There's something pretty karmic, something's going on to where they feel like they need to check out of the relationship because this is them having doubts about the happily ever after. And this is either the truth coming out or feeling the need to cut it off and put an end to it. And that's what they're going back and forth about. They, they just, I, I think they feel like they're having their doubts that they can continue uh, or be to be in this relationship. Like that maybe their issues are getting the best of them and it's not going to be this great, steady, stol solid, stable relationship anymore. And they feel like they need to end it because they're starting to implode. And even though they want things to work out, they want forward movement. It's getting the anxiety, the, the fear, the whatever, it's getting the better of them. All right, what is this Three of Cups about? Yep, 
you know, this could be planning about the happily ever after and, and things going well, victory here. But I just, I feel like there's something they're not telling you. Um, there's a lot more they're worried about than they're letting on. There, there's a lot riding on their shoulders right now that you only know a little bit of, Pisces. What's this uh, Three of Cups about? Hmm. A celebration coming due to a fast marriage. A, a quick offer, a, a quick passionate offer of marriage with a Taurus. That's probably who your person is. Taurus. Well, it could be Leo, could be Pisces or Cancer, but um, this is a celebration. Basically, you're, you're probably going to get eloped. Eloped. Listen, you're probably going to get eloped. Probably going to elope. Uh, maybe that's what the anxiety is about. Is I really want to work out with you. I want to get this show on the road. I just don't I don't want to get married. I just want to be married. I don't want to go through the whole weddings and all the whatever's. Let's just, can we just do it? Can we cut to the chase? Just be married. Can we just wake up tomorrow married? Maybe that's what this is saying. It just seems there's, I still feel like there's stuff they're not telling you though. All right. Not to be rude, but what, what is it? What is it that this person is not telling Pisces? What is it? What does Pisces need to know? All right. So um, this is about maybe it's somebody deciding if they want to settle down or not. They really think you're it, but they've got a decision to make about letting a few things from their past go. They maybe they're waiting on somebody else's input or somebody else's counsel because we got two kings here. So that would suggest um, minor counsel. So maybe they're, they've been, I don't know. I this it doesn't feel, it feels like they're talking to somebody, a close friend about their options. That's what it feels like. And, and they're trying to talk to a close friend about their options to make some sort of decision that you are not a part of. This is all done, I feel, in secrecy. Like they're talking to somebody else about you. Not negatively, but about like, can I handle this? Is this what's best for me? Am I doing the right thing? That sort of thing. Very interesting. All right, Pisces. Pisces. Okay. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe what they're talking to their friend about is the grass being greener or not. Should I do this? Should I tie the knot? Um, this could be man or woman thinking about this, but this is about having a visit to the other side, uh, you know, another slice of life and seeing if you like it seeing if you want to actually stay there or just take what you've learned and bring it back into your um, the life that you have. So this is about, is the grass greener or not? Making decisions based on that. And I feel like they, they're talking to a friend about that. About if they should pull the trigger and get married. You know, if they should... This, this would look to be somebody proposing to a woman. So someone proposing to someone, let's say that. Should someone pop the question, basically? Pisces. It's kind of sweet, actually. <laughs> Pisces. I'm coming off a tear because I've had like three readings in a row where it was just like, holy cow, someone is so not being straight with this person. And then this one is just someone going, oh my gosh, do you think I'm worthy of this person? Like, that's what it feels like, that they're having their doubts that they can be the person that they think you are worthy of. Because we got this very secure, solitary queen here and we've got somebody very stable and solid and secure and like you know are we ruining it by getting together or getting married like is it going to be is this going to be good for us or is it going to ruin us all right Pisces Pisces it could be somebody coming back from your past I just feel like now after seeing these two I feel like somebody's just afraid of taking the next step of make of deciding to take the next step orphaned that one's come up before um messages of you are not alone life has its twists and turns but uh, you're not you are not lost or forgotten or forsaken that's the intuitive read and then me i'm trying to remember what the book said i'm just going to read from the book here in a minute pisces pisces expect a miracle hmm okay are you stressed out about this maybe you're feeling like you should cut and run. Um, I think this is them talking to their, maybe you, you're having doubts because it, it's like, okay, 
everything seems to be great, but they they say that they're kind of confused and they're making they need to make a decision and they've been kind of acting weird lately. I feel like this is them wondering if it's time for them to settle down, talking to a friend. You're like, I need a miracle. <laughs> have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. There's that. And then we've got this right here, this orphan. So let me read what the book says. I'm not proficient yet. But I really like these messages. The shadow side of this card speaks to the essence of abandonment. Perhaps you feel a need to remain apart because intimacy is too threatening. Okay, so perhaps somebody's issues are such that they are preventing you two from connecting because they got they, they can only go so far and then it terrifies them to progress any further in a relationship because of intimacy or abandonment issues. Okay, that would make sense. It also warns against creating inappropriate family structures in order to conceal old wounds. It's time to eject, so that could be like cheating or just like really strange liaisons, that sort of thing. It's time to address the unhealthy alliances you've formed and make a decision to heal the past. You will not be abandoned by the world if you claim yourself as whole. Not easier said than done, I get it. Not all relationships are dysfunctional and not all of them will disappoint you. Don't abandon yourself. You can connect to others in a healthy way once you re recognize your patterns and consciously choose to interrupt them. Life wants to love you. Let it. Well, okay then. All right, so Pisces, someone is just really afraid of like not being up to snuff should you make the final step um, that there might be disappointment. But this is saying get your dancing shoes on because there's going to be a celebration, probably a very quick marriage, a very quick ceremony. Um, it's probably best not to drag it out if someone's like, I just don't know. It's like, you know what? We're going to be fine. Let's just do this. It's okay. You know, we're, look at this. <laughs> Come on. And they want it to work out. They're just scared. They're just like, can I handle this? Am I good enough? Oh my gosh. Self-doubt. Oh. Okay. All right. Um. Pisces, that is what I have for you. I wish you luck with this, and I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.